In any sales conversation, you are going to have to overcome objections. A lot of salespeople make the mistake of fighting back or being aggressive with their opinion or being defensive when they're given objections. But you need to be prepared for them. I'm going to give you some ideas and some hints as to how you can deal with objections effectively. The first point is around your mindset. Make sure that you're prepared to be a little bit submissive. That doesn't mean you can't make your point, but it does mean that you need to be thinking about building rapport and a relationship with these people and not arguing with them. We use a very simple formula. It starts with diffuse, it move, moves on to making a statement, and then moves on to asking questions. So remember, diffuse, statement, question. Diffuse simply means take the pressure out of the situation. Some really great ways of doing that are, that's fine, John, that's not a problem. I totally understand. Just using language like that takes the pressure out and means that you're not arguing with that person. Move on to making a statement. A lot of the people I speak to say exactly the same thing. Or, look, I understand price is a problem for you, and it is for a lot of the people I speak with. Or, I understand that the service that has been a, uh, has been a problem for you in the past, and that that's an important driver for you. So what you've done is you've shown that you're going to not battle with somebody, you've diffused the situation, you've shown understanding, and that you're going to, to move the conversation on, and then you can move into a question. Tell me, how often do you do this? Or tell me, how much has it cost you in the past? So just to flow that through, we start with diffuse, we move to statement, and then we move to question. John, that's not a problem. I completely understand what you're saying. A lot of the people I speak to say exactly the same thing. Tell me, how regularly do you buy this product or service? That formula will allow you to move away from the objection. It will deflect the attention away from the negativity of an objection, and it will allow you to move into and back into a natural two-way conversation where you're asking questions and, and, and uncovering an opportunity or a pain point. It's a great way to make sure the conversation continues to flow and that you're not battling against somebody when an objection is brought up.